Hi students, how are you all? I'm sure you must be taking good care of yourself. So today, we will solve some real life application of addition. Here, let's learn how to write the given information in statement form while solving the problems. It's very interesting. So let's begin. I have taken the first problem from the exercise 2.6 from page number 28. The number of tourists who visited Darjeeling in three months in a year was as follows. April 6,346 May 23,435 June 19,429 How many people visited Darjeeling during the three months? Now, to understand the problem well and to know what to write as statement, ask these questions. What is 6,346? What is 23,435? And what is 19,429? The answer to these questions will help us to form the statements for the solution. Here is the solution. Number of tourists in April. Remember students, we have to write the statements to the left side and the number to the right side of your book. The first statement here is number of tourists in April is equal to 6,346. One more thing, you have to leave sufficient space in between the numbers so that it becomes easier for us to do the addition. Second statement. Number of tourists in May is equal to 23,435. Third statement, number of tourists in June is equal to 19,429. Now, the question is, how many people visited Darjeeling during the three months? That means we have to do the addition. We are adding all three numbers. So, we will we'll put the addition sign and do the addition. So 6 plus 5, 11 plus 9, 20. 2 carried over. 2 plus 4, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 2, 11. 1, 1 carry over. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 4, 8 plus 4, 12. 1 carry over. 1 plus 6, 7 plus 3, 10. Plus 9, 19. 1 carried over. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. So, 49,210 is the total number of tourists during the 3 months. And the final statement is, therefore, total number of tourists visited Darjeeling during the 3 months is equal to 49,210. Let's take the second problem. Mr. Basu has a shop in Kolkata. He sold Rs. 45,136 worth of goods in January, Rs. 39,426 in February, and Rs. 38,545 in March. How much did he sell in the three months? Here is a solution. Now I have used, if you see, I have used the term cost. It is the price or an amount that has to be paid or spent to buy something. So the first statement is cost of goods sold in January is equal to Rs. 45,136. Second statement, cost of goods sold in February is equal to Rs. 39,426. Third statement. Cost of goods sold in March is equal to Rs. 38,545. We have to do the addition. So 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 5, 17. 7, 1 carried over. 1 plus 3, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 4, 10, 0, 1 carried over, 1 plus 1, 2, 
2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 5, 11, 1, 1 got carried over, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 9, 15, 15 plus 3, 23, 3, 2 carried over, 2 plus 4, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 3, 12. And we get the answer, rupees 1 lakh 23,107. It is the total cost of goods sold. And the final statement, therefore, the total cost of goods sold in 3 months is equal to rupees 1 lakh 23,107. Let's do the third one. Elections were held in Gurgaon in May 2016. The four persons who fought election got 12,906, 13,545, 23,342 and 102 votes respectively. Find the total number of votes polled. Here is a solution. The first statement, number of votes for the first person is equal to 12,906. Second statement, number of votes for the second person is equal to 13,545. Third statement, number of votes for the third person is equal to 23,342. Fourth statement, Number of votes for the fourth person is equal to 102. Here we have to do the addition. We need to find the total number of votes polled. So 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 2, 13. 13 plus 2, 15. 5, 1 carried over. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 4, 5. 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 0, 9. 9. 9 plus 5, 14. 14 plus 3, 17. 17 plus 1, 18. 8. 1 carried over. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. 9. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 2, 4. So we get... 49,895. The final statement, therefore, total number of votes polled is equal to 49,895. Let's solve the fifth problem. Manik Public School has a large library. There are 36,422 books in English. 45,222 books in Hindi and 38,346 books in other languages. How many books in all does the library have? Here the question is how many books in all does the library have? In all means we have to do the addition. Here is the solution. The first statement Number of books in English is equal to 36,422. Second statement, number of books in Hindi is equal to 45,222. Number of books in other languages is equal to 38,346. We have to do the addition. So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 0, 1 carried over, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 3, 9, 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 8, 19, 9, 1 carried over, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 4, 8, 8 plus 3, 11. So we get the answer 1 lakh 19,990. Final statement. Therefore, total number of books in the library is equal to 
1,19,990. Let's solve the sixth problem. Mr. Sharma bought a scooter for Rs. 22,596. A refrigerator for Rs. 18,946. And a car for Rs. 1,89,420. How much money did Mr. Sharma spend? So the first statement is cost of a scooter is equal to rupees 22,596. Students, please do not forget to write the rupees sign. Second statement cost of a refrigerator is equal to rupees 18,946. Third statement cost of a car is equal to rupees 1,89,420. The question is how much money did Mr. Sharma spend? So we have to add all the amount together. So here after addition we get 6 plus 6, 12 plus 0, 12, 2, 1 carried over, 1 plus 9, 10, 10 plus 4, 14, 14 plus 2, 16, 6, 1 carried over, 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 9, 15, 15 plus 4, 19, 9, 1 carried over, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 8, 11, 11 plus 9, 20, 0, 2 carried over, 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 8, 13, 3, 1 carried over, 1 plus 1, 2. We get 2,30,962. The total money spent is rupees 2,30,962. And the final statement, therefore, Mr. Shankar's spent is equal to rupees 2,30,962. So let's solve ninth problem. A farmer had four pieces of land. He got 4,356 kilos. 16,436 kilo, 23,586 kilo, and 5,389 kilo, respectively, of weight from them. Find the total quantity of weight produced. We have to add all four numbers to get the total quantity of weight produced. Here is the first statement. Quantity of weight in first land is equal to 4,356 kilo. Second statement, quantity of weight in second land is equal to 16,436 kilo. Third statement, quantity of weight in third land is equal to 23,586 kilo. Fourth statement, quantity of weight in fourth land is equal to 5389. If you see here, I have used the unit kilos after every number. Now we will do the addition. So 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 plus 9, 27. 7. 2 is carried over, 2 plus 5, 7, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 plus 8, 18, 18 plus 8, 26, 6, 2 carried over, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 4, 9, 9 plus 5, 14, 14 plus 3, 17, 7, 1 got carried over, 1 plus 4, 5, 5 plus 6, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 5, 19, 9, 1 carried over, 1 plus 1, 
2, 2 plus 2, 4. So we get 49,767 kilo. The final statement is, therefore, total quantity of weight produced is equal to 49,767 kilo.